Grand Rising. Today I want to talk about I am you. I am you. Imagination creates all reality. So this place of imagination is your reality. This is this is your source. This is your origin. This is where everything is based from. So there's only one energy, one body, one spirit, and one mind. We're all individualized, but we're all one. For example, if you have an ocean of water, if you have a body of water, okay, you have the ocean, and you take out one drop from it, that's me. If you take out another drop, that's you. Now we are individualized and we're seem like we're separate from the surface, but we actually contain the exact same elements. So we came, we come from the same body of water. Okay. So there's no separation with us here. So collectively, all of us are individualized, but we all make up one body. So I am you and you are me. So whenever you do something, it affects me. And whenever I do something, it affects you. So everything has a ripple effect, okay? So when you talk about karma, karma is returning to you the same energy that you put out into the universe. So if you're doing good things to the universe, you're doing good things to yourself because the universe is your higher self pushed out. So if you have a desire for $10,000, then what you're going to do is you're going to subconsciously come up with a business idea. You're going to have a product. You're going to sell knowledge. You're going to have um, a service. You're going to subconsciously come up with those. And there's going, to, there's going to be people that want your service, your product, or your knowledge. So you don't have to look for those people that are going to find you. They're going to be willingly to pay for it. So you're going to study, you're going to be the best version of yourself when you have your business or whatever it is that you're doing, and then those people will come to you. Now, you don't know those people consciously, but subconsciously, your mind's going to do all the work for you. And you hear me often say where the mind goes, the feet soon will follow. So whenever you have your business plan or your business idea, you want to make sure that it's impacting and helping other people because that's what people want. People want things that make it easier for them to live. So that's where you come in. So if it wasn't for the people looking for that, then your idea would be useless. And there's always people that are looking for something new. Um, there's people that are looking for something better in their lives. There's people that are looking for a different way of doing things and your business idea could be the one that's going to offer them that service so if you have a desire for ten thousand dollars and you come up with a t-shirt business then you're going to have those people buy your your t-shirts until you make ten thousand dollars if you see what i'm saying are you guys following me so there's no separation so i'm an uber driver if my goal is to make for example two hundred dollars a day then the universe is going to send me the right amount of clients so I can get that $200. And those people will also need a ride to their job, uh, maybe to go visit a friend, to the airport, wherever these people are going, they need a ride so they found me. So it's a mutual, it's a mutual agreement that has integrity. So whenever you come up with this idea, remember that whatever you're coming up with is affecting somebody else because you are them and they are you. So remember for now on when you do things in life that there's no separation between you and the other people in this universe. All of us, we're all, we're all connected. There's no separation. Life is good. Thank you so much for listening. If you did like this and it resonates with you, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell icon, go out there and use your gifts and make life happen. Peace.